Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World and we're in Lüneburg, Germany, like a half hour from Hamburg to the south. Beautiful little town. If you want to feel 13th century Germany, this is where you're going to go. And today what we have for you is what you should see and do, kind of like a top 10, what you should see and do here in Lüneburg. And the first thing you need to do is realize that Lüneburg is 13th century Germany. You want to see what the buildings were like back then? You can see it because this city has not been destroyed through the First and Second World Wars. It's been able to enjoy all its prosperity. The crane from when this was the, the, the heart of the salt industry in Germany. But anyway, the first thing you want to do when you're here is you want to go explore the old town and take in all of the sites, take in the Rathaus, the town hall, one of the prettiest ones in Germany and go to the, the market on the weekend that's there or come at Christmas time for there or just, just walk around and take in the architecture of the city. You know, whether you do take in the old crane here or the old mill and see these things. The architecture and just walking around and wandering here in Lüneburg is probably the prettiest thing to do. One of the prettiest things to do anywhere in Germany, so that's the first thing you got to do. Now, the second thing you can do is you want to get a view from on top of everything. You can actually go to the water tower or the Wasserturm, and you can hike up to the top and get a beautiful view of the city from there. And then, if you speak some German, I would say the third thing to do is go to the Deutsche Salzmuseum or the German Salt Museum. If you don't speak German, it's probably not for you because they do know, they have everything you've ever wanted to know, ever about salt. Like when you pay, they give you packs of salt as like your entrance thing, okay? But just realize that if you go there, you will learn everything you want to know about salt, but it's all in German. They do have a book in English, so if you don't speak English, it might not be as much fun. So, but it is important because salt is what made this town so rich and so you know, fantastic with the fantastic architecture and everything here, the amazing churches. And that's why the fourth thing you should see when you come here is go to St. Michael's Church. And what's cool is when you go to St. Michael's, that's part of the city that's kind of started to sink down. And you go there and you'll look at the, on the far left, when you come in, you look and you say, wait, those pillars look like they're a little bent over and the wall looks just a little crooked. Yes, it is. And it's been that way for a few hundred years. And the lady will tell you, don't worry, it's been like that for hundreds of years. It's not going to fall on you. But it is kind of cool to check out. And there's three kind of big churches you want to see when you're here. One, yes, is St. Michael's is here. The first one you're going to pass by is Johannes Kirche. You go in there, you want to walk inside. It is enormous. Make sure you take the time to walk in the churches here. Oh, there's also the Nikolai Church you want to go check out and go and take your time underneath the altar you can go underneath with this kind of like a little bit extra hidden prayer space it's kind of cool but these churches are really cool and really worth checking out that's why I would say like four and five are St. Michael's that has the wonky stuff, Johannes Kirche, which is the big one, and then Nikolai Kirche, or Nikolai's Church, which is another church. So I'll just put those three into two so we can get more stuff in our top ten. Now the sixth thing you want to do when you come here is go to the town hall. And the cool thing is they have, a, they have the tourist information centers there and they have maps of the cities and there's guides from there. But it actually is one of the coolest looking town halls in Germany. And Germans will talk about how pretty it is there. And the market, they have a market there on weekends so you can go get your fruits and vegetables and flowers and stuff. The Christmas market there is really, really cute. Well worth checking out. Now, the seventh thing you want to do when you come here is if you want to get some of the history, there's two museums that will give you a good background of the area. You have the East Prussia Museum, okay, and then you have the brand new Lüneburg Museum. It literally opened up in March of 2015 and it gives you a nice overview of the area because this is actually a very important place for the places like Hamburg and Lübeck because this is where the salt came that they used to trade with, okay. Now, if you're you're tired of the salt kind of thing they do have a little brewery museum when you are here I went there with some friends of mine you walk up four flights you see some things it's a little museum it's fun to look at and there's a you know it's part of the brewery and you can go to the the Cronin brewery next door and have a beer there it's kind of a nice little beer hall setting and have your your uh, your Luna Burger Pilsner or your your Cronin beer the darker one and have a nice little time but it is kind of a nice little thing to do when you are here and then the ninth thing you have to do when you're here is actually if you come to this area Lüneburg and this whole area they call it the Lüneburger Heide or the Lüneburg kind of heath okay basically it's a bunch of um rural tourism areas that city dwellers from Hanover and Hamburg and all these places really enjoy and then the 10th thing you can do when you're here is actually if you go behind the town hall walking towards St. Michael's Church, you can actually see where the city's starting to sink down into the ground. It's you know four or five meters going down, but you walk you're like, wait, why does this look so weird? Why is the road kind of going wonky? And you'll see that's at the end of it is where St. Michael's is, so you can see how it's gone all kind of wonky too. And it's kind of cool because underneath here, they these are salt mines for hundreds of years, okay? And they, they only closed them a couple hundred years ago. And so the city is kind of settling on top of it. And it's kind 
kind of cool to see how this, you know, how man's work has kind of influenced the, the land above it from what we've done. And it is kind of cool to check out. So for Marion's plots, just kind of look towards St. Michael's Church, you kind of see like, whoa, the buildings look a little funky here. But I'll be honest, Lüneburg has a lot of stuff to see. It is a great day trip from Hanover or Hamburg or any other place you go. You can stay here. There's a lot of cheap accommodations, 35 minutes on the train from Hamburg, maybe 45 if you get the slow train. You know, Hanover, very close by too. Um, also, some of the history that's here, Himmler, the head of the SS, this is where he killed himself. You know, too bad into that earlier. Um, but honestly, this is probably one of the cutest towns you're gonna find in Germany. And the thing is, it wasn't destroyed by the First World War or the Second World War. You see these buildings, how they really were, you know, 700 years ago, 800 years ago, you know, and you're like, wow. This is truly amazing, and that's one of the things I really say, you got to come to Lüneburg. If you're in Hamburg and you want to get some old world Germany, this is where you get old world Germany. Anyway, I hope that helps you know a little bit more about what you should see and do when you come to Lüneburg. It is well worth it, if you haven't told by my <laughs> saying it's well worth seeing multiple times. If you want to learn more about visiting Germany or this part of Germany, five things you love and hate about Hamburg, five things you love and hate about Hanover, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter and Facebook, and we really appreciate your likes and subscriptions. We hope you have a great time here in Lüneburg or wherever you do travel. Tschüss from Lüneburg.